Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is LRF Dunlap Jr. coming up to you with the only infallible, I do mean the only, which is this, the only uncompromised, the only unadulterated written word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ, who is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. All right, don't forget you on YouTube. We are on Facebook. That Facebook address is LRL Dunlap Jr. You on Facebook, we're on YouTube. And that YouTube address is simply Robert Dunlap. Come on in, feel free to share, like, comment. Hallelujah. Either way, thank you for viewing. Now, get your Bible. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. You will need your Bible. We're going to a very familiar passage of scripture. A very familiar passage of scripture. That have not been taught properly. 99% of the teachers that we have heard have been taught incorrect concerning Matthew 6, 33. Get your Bible. Let's begin reading. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things should be added unto you. Now, people, preachers, in teaching this, preachers, have took this scripture, Matthew 6, 33, and they have put the kingdom of God in the back burner and still preaching things. For they say, this the best blessing plan it is. See God, and he'll take you places. And he'll give you things. And he'll make you prosperous. They have took this. God bless you, whoever you are. They have took this scripture when Jesus said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. They don't put seek ye first in the back burner and preaching things. They don't preach the kingdom of God. In his righteousness, they jump over the kingdom of God and go to things. Bless your sister tongue. You all come and get, get your Bible and follow with the way of Matthew 6.33. Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. The preacher, your pastor, <laughs> in most cases, not all. They do not preach the kingdom of God. What they preach, they preach things. They say Jesus will bless you with things if you seek him first. <laughs> if, you, if you put him first, ooh, you'll get some things. He'll bless you greatly and bountifully if you put him first. If you seek him first, you get things. They put the, they put the kingdom of God on, in the background and going on to preach things. Jesus was not preaching things. Jesus was not promising things. I know I just said so. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Keep your Bible on. Don't close your Bible. They don't even tell you about the kingdom of God. They immediately go to things that will be added. That's what they preaching. They put the kingdom of God in the background and go to things. If you want to be blessed, here's how you be blessed. Now they talking things now. They talking things. Oh, if you want things, here's how you get things. Here's how God say get things. If you want to be blessed bountifully, 
If you want your own business, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want more than enough, if you want overflow, here is how God say, get, here is how Jesus say, get your overflow, seek ye first. And they say nothing about the kingdom. They say nothing about the kingdom. They take this scripture and put it in the background. The righteous in the kingdom, they put it in the background and go to preaching things. And saying, Jesus said, this is how you get things. Now let's go forward. Keep your Bible open. We're going to show you in totality what Jesus is saying. Back up one verse. Back up one. No, back up two. Back up two verses. Therefore, take no thought saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Wherewithal shall we be clothed? For, for after all these things the Gentiles seek after. For your heavenly Father know that you have need of these things. Hmm? Now, I need you to put a pen there. No, no, just back up. Let me show you this. See, they don't read this in context. Let me show you. Back up to the 30th verse. Watch this. Bless you, Pastor William. Watch this. And, 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 and Pastor, you don't know, but you was all you was all in this message tonight. <laughs> Watch this. Back up to the 30th verse. Know what we said. When preachers preach Matthew 6 33, seek ye first, they put first in the background and go to preach the things. They say, here's how Jesus say you get things. Seek ye first. Jesus won't preach the things. He won't promise you things. Now back up to the 30th verse. Let me show you this. Wherefore, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more close you? O ye of little faith. Amen, Pastor. O ye of little faith. What is that saying? Uh, you don't believe that God is going to take care of you? That's what it's saying. God going to take care of you? You ain't got to worry about it. God gonna take care of you. Now let me throw something. Let me throw something in there and mess up some. Mess up some of you, some of you deep folks. <laughs> that tell folks, God ain't gonna bless you if you ain't saved. Jesus ain't God reigned on the just as well as the unjust. Right? <laughs> I know. I know. Who will bless you before you got saved? Who will provide for, for you before you got saved? Who will provide for, for you when nobody when nobody in your in your family was saved was saved? Who was providing for you? Watch this. In, in other words, it's automatic. Yeah, you don't got to worry about that. He's going to take care of you. That's automatic. That's automatic. You'll be your needs will be took care of. That's automatic. Now, what do we mean when we say needs? Let's see what Jesus said. That's all jump over. His needs. Take no thought saying what we shall eat. Where we shall drink. Wherewithal shall we be clothed. That's what Jesus is saying. Those are the needs. Father, for these Gentiles seek out for your head. Father, know you have need of these things. God, know you have need of these things. 
You don't believe that God going to take care of you? He took care of the birds. Ain't no bird saved. Ain't no sparrow saved. <laughs> he take care of the seven. I know, I, I know you deep, you deep, Saint Five Hundred want to hear that. He take care of the sinner. Now watch it, and we we'll, and we'll go on further to show you in totality what he was talking. And Pastor hit on it all day, <laughs> last night and today. Look, back of the twenty six, the fowls of there they don't sow, neither do they reap. Need they no gathering barn? Your head and father feed you there. The father feeds the five. The father feed everybody. He reigned on the just and unjust alike. Your need would be took care of. That's automatic. These say, Oh, ye a little faith. In the 30th verse, Oh, ye a little faith. Remember? Watch this. When they was on the boat, the ship, and the storm came and wind blowing and this and this, and they went and woke Jesus up and they said, Master, do you care we perish? And he rebuked the wind. He said, Oh, ye a little faith. Do you, did you actually think that you were going to perish? You were in the same boat as Jesus now. You actually thought that you were going to perish with Jesus on board. That means Jesus had to perish too. Oh, ye a little faith. Oh, ye of little faith. Your needs is, your needs are provided, provided for. Let me throw some at you. Let me throw some at you. <sighs> Your needs are provided for naturally, and they were provided for ever since the beginning of time when Adam and Eve was in the garden. God made natural provisions for man to be took care of naturally. I want to say, I want to say, law of nature, take care of man. God made provision when you put man in the garden. To be took care of. That's automatic. Your need will be took care of. Now, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto me, unto, unto you. Jesus, Jesus won't promise you nothing. He won't promise you nothing. He won't promise you no thing. Now, let's go here. I want you to turn over to the book of, let me see, maybe in this one too. Well, turn over to the book of Luke 12 chapter. And we just about through. I need to show you this. Luke 12 and 15. I need to show you this. And I'm just about through. Luke 12, 15. And he said unto them, Take heed, beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things that he possesses. Hmm? Jesus was not preaching things. He wasn't promising you things. Now, watch this. We, we, we still in the twelfth in the uh, 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 twelfth chapter. <laughs> Go to thirty one. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. What things? What things? Yeah, God know you have need. He think God gonna supply your need. There's something else in there. Read the next verse. Read this next verse. Read this next verse. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God. All these things shall be out of you. Fear not, little flock. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. You seek the kingdom of God. He gonna give it to you. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but right to joy, peace, and the Holy Ghost. You only get the kingdom when you come in Christ. 
when you repent of your sin, when you made a new creature, when your sin washed away. Now, in totality, all these things shall be added. And you saying, oh, you little faith, he gonna take care of you, so. You know. He said, tomorrow I'll take care of it. Now let's back up and see what he was really saying. What he was really saying was, and you have to back up, and then what Pastor was in it, back up to the 24th verse of the 6th chapter of Matthew. Back up to the 24th verse. All that go, all this, all this goes together. Back up to the 24th for first, watch it. No man can say to two masters. All this is in the same context. No man can say to two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will hold the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God in mammon. Therefore, after you say that, therefore take no thought for your life. What, what are you saying? Don't see money. Don't see riches. Don't see fame. For the love of money is the rule of all evil. But see God. No man can say two masters. You hate one, love the other. Yes, you hold one, despise the other. You cannot serve God in man. Don't seek to be rich. Don't seek money. Seek God. Don't seek money. Seek God. Let me go here. Go to, go to Timothy 6. I need to show you this. Timothy 6. And we're just about there. We're just about there. Timothy 6. Don't seek to be rich, but seek God. Timothy 6. Let's start reading with the uh, sixth verse. Timothy, 1 Timothy 6, 6. For godliness with contentment is great gain. <laughs> yeah. Godliness with contentment is great gain. You know you're right seeking well. You know, so you see God. God gonna take care of your need. See, you got two categories here. You got those seek in, in, in Matthew, you got two categories. Those seeking well and those seeking God. Those seeking well and those seeking God. Those seeking mammon. And those seeking God, those seeking will, and those seeking God and his, and the kingdom. Through Jesus. It's two categories. Those seeking will, those seeking God. Jesus didn't promise well. He said you need to be took care of. So you got greed, seeking mammal. You got greed. You got covetousness. And what Jesus spoke about is need. With far gonna take care of it anyway. Greed, covetousness, and need, and Jesus. Watch it. God will continue a great game, for we brought nothing into this world. It is certain we'll carry nothing out. Now, watch it. And having food and raiment, let us down, let us. Be there with content. Having food and raiment, let them be content. What they talking about? Have your needs met, be content. Have your needs met. Read. But they that will be rich. That's those that's those serving mammon. That's those going after mammon. That's going that's those going after wealth. But they that will be rich. But they that will be rich. But they that will be rich. They were to seek it out. But they that will be rich. Fall into temptation and the snare, and into men and foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the rule of all evil, while some covet it after. 
in Matthew, the mammon, that's talking about covetousness. I'm going to show you. By some coming out, they have erred from the faith. They have erred from the faith. Money, the call people to err from the faith. Money, the love of money, covetousness have called people to err from the faith. Look at all these preachers who used to preach the truth, but now they're in a backslid. Some of these over there preaching all this money game and all that kind of stuff, and God said, so and see, they, they weren't preaching that 35 years ago. They did err from the faith because of it. For love money is real all evil. Why would some cover it out that they have ran from the faith and pierced themselves through with men of sorrow? But thou, O man of God, but thou, O man of God, but thou, O man of God, flee these things. Don't you go after that. Don't you go out trying to be rich. Don't love money. He said, but thou, O man of God, flee these things. They'll take care of the casino. They'll take care of the scratch off. Flee these things. That really go to casino, you won't be rich, right? You, you, ain't nobody going to the casino to, to pretend we ain't no hundred dollars. You won't hit the jackpot. <laughs> when the preachers come to your church, I'm not new to it, I'm true to it. They ask how many members you got. How many members come out on Sunday night? You know why they asking that? They count up the dollars. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they won't preach to 15 or 20. It's not the money for them. They, need, they, they, they have to be guaranteed that you have a house full. Mm-hmm. Watch it. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and fall after this. You fall after this. Righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. And lay hold on eternal life. Where is thy call? And have a, fair, a good faith before men and witnesses. Now, remember, go back to Matthew. Remember I told you in context. You can't serve, you can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and mammon. These people that said that they're going out to mammon and serving mammon, they, they're not seeking God. They seem to be rich. Let me prove it. Back up. We still in the same, we still in, in the uh, uh 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 we still in chapter six. All this go together. <laughs> Watch it. Watch it. Go to 19. Lay not up for yourself tread upon earth, where the moth and rust do corrupt, and the thief break in and steal, break through and steal. But lay up for yourself tread in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thee do not break through nor steal. For where your tread is, holy, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just got some. I just got some. I just got some. What do you say, lay your treasure? Lay up for yourself treasure in heaven. Told you you can't sow no money to no kingdom. We, we told you that. You can't sow no money to no kingdom. Money, thieves can steal. Money, if, if, you, if you leave paper, the malt and stuff eat up and corrupt it in a meal doing corrode and all that kind of stuff. Lay yourself up treasure in heaven. How you lay treasure up in heaven? Not through no money, not through no seed. Lay yourself up treasure in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break in nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Watch it, watch it. For the light of the body is the eye. If thine eye be, be single, then the whole body shall be full of light. You know, single eye. But if the eye be evil. Whew. But if they are, if the eye be evil, 
thy whole body full of dogged there, if therefore the light that is in thee be dogged, how great is that dogged? If your eye be evil, was evil, loving mammon, going after wealth, loving money, that's evil. Not seeking Christ, that's evil. Know the third chapter of John, he say, he say, uh, darkness hate the light. He say men don't come to the light because they deeds are evil. Huh? That's in John 3. That's evil. It gets worse. See, we read backward. We ain't going for it. We read backward. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. And what I want you to do is go over. Go over, back over to the 12th chapter. I want to show you something of Luke. And we, we, we're just about that. We're just about that. <laughs> 32. Well, 31. Luke 12, 31. Watch it. Watch it. Fear not, little flock, is your father good? I mean, but, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for is your father a good place to give you the kingdom? Watch it. Sell what you have. Give on. Your fall probably, you don't do that here until you don't help the need it. Give on. Provide for yourself bad with whack not old, a treasure in him. <laughs> Watch it. Back up to the 20, 21. Well, back up to the 14th. I mean, to the uh, 15th. 12, 15. And he said, to them, Take heed, beware of covetousness. For a man's life consists not in the abundance of things that he possesses. And he spake the parallelism saying, the ground of a certain rich man brought for a plenty. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? I have no room where the, to bestow my fruit. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barn, build greater, and there I will bestow all my fruits and my good. I will say to my soul, Thou hast much good, laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. And God said unto him, Thy fool, this night thy soul is required of thee, then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that led up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. And is not rich towards God. Jesus was not preaching things. Read on down, 22nd. He said to the disciple, watch this. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, neither for the body, what you shall put on. Watch this. The life is more than me, and the body is more than rain. Hmm? Consider the rain. They sold not in. You know, who quickly you can add one cubit to his stature. Huh? If ye did be not able to do the thing which is least, why well, take thought for the rest? Huh? You can't, you, look, look, you can't do nothing about tomorrow. <laughs> it, look, it really, it really what he's saying is, don't, don't even worry about those things. Don't even worry about those things. There we took care of. So, if you rewind this tape, it was a little lengthy, but it's worth it. It reads the scriptures. Seek you first the kingdom of God. Jesus was not preaching, you're going to get some things. And most preachers that preach Matthew 6 33, they put first, seek the kingdom of God first, they put it in the background and go to preaching things, saying, This is how God said you'll get things by seeking Him first. Do you want to preach no thing? 
That's already took care of. Your father know you have need of that. He 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 he, he take care of the fowls and all that. That's automatic. Your needs automatic took care of. Eat, drink, and what's going to put on, stuff like that. Your needs are already took care of. He was saying the important thing, as we read, that your heart be rich toward him. And if your heart is rich toward him, the only way is to seek him and his righteousness. Huh? How you do that? How you get his righteousness? Repent of your sin. Ask him to save you. Put your sin down. Ask him to cleanse you, wash you, make you a new creature. Be born of the water and of the spirit. Be a new creature in Christ. Have your heart rich towards God. All right? That's what we're talking. That was a little lengthy, but hey, you that's serious about Bible study, go in, rewind the tape, Fit the same down time and get good understanding that you will not get from your pastor. God bless you. God keep you. Is my prayer.